Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot, and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising weekly tarot and the Norman reading for November 12th to November 18, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a general reading for Taurus star sign and it is not your personal reading therefore um, I will explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, make the synergy in the spread but it forces you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you well that is a subject to a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings also <clears throat> as uh, the um, Christmas celebrations are approaching uh, there is a um, Christmas sale going on uh, which can, uh, which affects the um, 20 minute service and uh, everybody who purchases a 20 minutes also gets a bonus of answer to one question service um, video answer to one question service that they can use anytime they want so that said aside um, this is the general uh, weekly spread here, Tarot weekly spread and the first card that it is marking the topic of your week Taurus is this is to be the Six of Pentacles so with the Six of Pentacles that week it is rather to go uh, according to the flow that is one of the cards which points that the higher hierarchy is to be maintained throughout the week so whatever you have worked for before is to be manifested throughout this week and it is very important that you don't struggle against instead but you just give yourself to it completely again this is a week where everything will go according to the flow so so if you try to go against the current here against the flow only thing that you are to do is struggle and nothing more also this is to be as well a little bit more creative week than usual <clears throat> It looks like that you are to find uh, additional ways or should I say a additional um, options available how to resolve some issues that were lingering from the past so the very least when the week is over here you will be uh, you will end up with much less problems that you were uh, that you were having when you entered into the week itself so when <clears throat> at the monday and tuesday try to th uh, try to think of uh, what kind of an issues you do have in between you and your partner in romantic relationship for example or in between you and certain co-workers that are lingering there and seriously are disturbing the um, the natural flow of the events as again this is a week where the natural flow of the events is to be restored to a, a great S um, extent and then the next card that we do have this is the core of the situation uh, or why we do have that specific topic that will be the hermit card and when we talk about the hermit especially with the synergy of the uh, six of pentacles the uh, how can i place it the hermit represents <clears throat> the light that shines for us into the darkness therefore uh, it, that that simply does look like as a salvation you know as a salvation of a certain situation we found it like a, a dead end situation like nothing could have helped us out there like you know like uh, for example the, the 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 ship we are born on is plummeting down and nothing is to save us well <clears throat> we are to see that some options again options available are opening for us and we have to grasp one of those options now very important here when we talk about the hermit card as a core is that we need to realize you know that not everything is because someone did it to us but maybe some of those issues were caused uh, and were in fact a um, consequences of actions we have taken back in the past and uh, we need to make or you Tauruses uh, need to make a certain withdrawal at a certain point throughout the week uh, again so you can think of what kind of an issues you do have that can be resolved you know choose your path and move on into that specific direction um, <clears throat> here also uh, it is very accurate to be said that not many people will approve your new direction of making peace you know with with those that you did not have until this very moment but uh, you need to approach 
uh, your situations at work and your situations at um, uh, at your relationship uh, life with a great portion of wisdom and intelligence and even though there is no one there to applaud you for it you know that is exactly the direction that you need to go forward and on top of that uh, just like a, a bonus this week is going to consolidate your emotional uh, structure in a sense of that you are going to be much more aware what you are feeling toward certain people in your life for example if you are th if you are confused you know uh, what you feel toward that specific sweater well in this week November 12th to November 18th you are to figure out what exactly you are feeling toward them the challenges which are to cause predicaments for you here we do have the Sun card <clears throat> so uh, the whole process of uh, this situation or of your situation taking again the natural unfoldment is to become challenging most likely as they are to involve some actions that are required from you or some decisions that are required from you which you are find very difficult to do uh, not because they go against your code of conduct in general but because they are simply you know one way or another uh, making you feel uncomfortable executing them and exerting them as the sun again it does speaks for the natural unfoldment of one situation this is the other card for going with the current in this specific case falling into a challenging position it means again that is going to be challenging but not uh, impossible <clears throat> So what is the importance here so one can overcome the challenge from the sun card? Well, first of all, one needs to have much vigor within, you know, and determination as well. Positive attitude, that is up for most importance as well. And uh, you need to know that... Uh, <clears throat> throughout this week as well, uh, you will have somewhat challenges to... Um, make a, a monetary gains as well so i could say that this week it is not a very good week where you should ask for promotions or raises into one salary and also you shouldn't um, kind of like ask let's say your partner or kind of try to bruise on your partner into one relationship for more physical interactions in there again this is a week of adaptation where everything goes back into normal and you should not force your luck should i say that way uh, the sun card also points that you are to find it very challenging to make peace with certain people uh, and uh, <clears throat> This also resembles to the uh, un unresolved issues back from the past. So uh, that being said, it, it will need a little bit more time, you know, to find a common ground with those people. So everything that this week has to offer to you, you have to fight for it. All right. It's not going to be given to you on a platter as this card counters these couples here that we do have. And uh, basically you, you, you have to fight for it, guys. Uh, as much as I want to be positive about it and to tell you that everything is going to resolve itself on its own accord miraculously for you, that ain't going to happen here what this reading is pointing, but you have to really, really earn it. <clears throat> And you can start doing so by uh, by analyzing your emotions and by really exerting wisdom and intelligence behind your actions and behind, behind your decision making skills. And the last card that will be the guidance that you should adopt throughout the week. We, we, do, we do have the world card and the first thing that you have to do here or, or the guidance is that you need to uh, stick to the honesty and into the candor that one can um, offer to the world that is the first thing and that comes from the uh, symbol here that the veil is falling from the naked body of the woman which is the strongest symbol of one opening himself for the uh, for the world and showing that one has nothing literally to hide that is the guidance and also the guidance is that you should by doing so aim to liberate yourself from those vague situations you know and those um, let's say uh, situations where there are rumors rumors in your name or in the name that it is related to you as well 
and if you can um, reach a certain closure, if you can, uh, you know, solidify a, a certain undertaking, uh, a certain deal, or, uh, you know, reach a closure into a um, broken relationship, for example, or a friendship, etc., etc., that is advisable for you to do so because the world card here is also a, a sign that a, a new perspective is to emerge for you very, very soon. So that was the tarot reading and let's see now what the Lenormand cards are about to show for you now. They are to show a um, event that you should either look forward to Tauruses or try to avoid. Alright, so let's see what we got. Now the first card that is to be the letter and the letter stands for written text, chat or um, <clears throat> basically a male. The next one this is to be the clover. The clover is small success, small portion of luck. And the next one this is to be the dog. The dog, the dog stands for good friend and loyalty. So uh, <clears throat> you are to find out that someone is loyal to you through a, a text message, through an email or something like that. I mean this is to be all through social media for that matter. <clears throat> and uh, the, the loyalty is going to be rather in a small portions, but it's going to be as well very, very important to you. It's kind of like a reassurance here that you do have a, a loyal friend. For example, if you have asked someone to do something for you, well, that week you are to uh, receive a, a message or an email that they have actually done what you have asked them to do for you. And from there, you know, maybe that is going to be the prerequisite where everything is going to start taking uh, the shape back into normal and from there you can start resolving the lingering issues which you may have in between you and your uh, partner into your relationship in between you and your co-workers into your career or just a and issues that you do have with yourself that is also a, a possibility so that being said, Tauruses, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November 12th to November 18th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, uh, this was just a general reading for Taurus's star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.